Now, what we want to do is we want to configure aura filters, okay? And this is the most powerful part of uh, Shadow Dino Trains. So what we want to do is we want to make a new whitelist. So we're going to click aura filters and click whitelist management and let's uh, make a new one. Let's say uh, healing. So we're going to make a new whitelist and we're going to click create. And from here on, we can add new auras to it. So let's let's go ahead and add life blue, and let's go ahead and add wild growth. And let's go ahead and add uh, uh, bark skin. Okay, so we added a couple of uh, couple of uh, buffs to the whitelist. Now, how does this this look? We can turn on whitelist specifically for for something. So we can we, we let's go ahead and turn on the healing whitelist for the raid frame. Now, if I cast rejuvenation, it's not on the whitelist, so it doesn't show. But if I cast life bloom, it is on the whitelist. So I can I can, I can keep track of life bloom. Or wild growth or bark skin but for example if I cast or growth it doesn't show up now why would you want to use this well you can configure your your aura filters to show exactly the buffs and debuffs that you want to see and not the ones you don't want to see so for example we can add uh, reju how do you spell rejuvenation reju Rejuvenation. And we'll be able to see that. We can add regrowth. We'll be able to see that. We can add stealth. Prowl. Okay. And let's go ahead and add uh, tremendous Okay, so we we went ahead and added these uh, these buffs that we're gonna see in Nature's Grass, and we can go ahead and add other classes buffs and debuffs. So, for example, we can add new, and we can add power, word, shield. Let's spell it like that. Power, shield, and so on and so forth. So we'll be able to add. Add new buffs and debuffs to filter. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add a whole bunch of them for my list and I'll show you guys what I've got a little bit later. Alright guys I went ahead and added a whole bunch of uh, buffs that are pretty important to keep track of an arena and I've got a whole list of them and of course we're gonna have a, a list of these for you so you see you don't have to look at this uh, video and the one more thing that I want to do is I want to uncheck debuffs here. So I want to only filter things for buffs, of course. And as you see, I've got a giant list. And uh, I can keep track of all these things like this. And this is really useful as a healer, for example, because you'll be able to see exactly what your party needs. And, of course, one feature that is uh, present in almost all add-ons compared to the default unit trims is that you can see more than three buffs and debuffs in the same time. Now let's go ahead and set up one more thing for our raid frames and our arena frames. So let's go ahead and turn those on. And what I want to see is I want to show... I want to show border highlighting for targeting. So for example when I target somebody I wanted to highlight the border and we'll 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 leave this on for target and focus but later on we'll actually get rid of the focus one by editing a file really really easily. So for example you'll be able to see who you're targeting with uh, your F keys and so on and so forth in, in the arena frames as well based you know based on the little border highlight here.